an output type of question based on random numbers. So you are provided with a program and you need to say out of these four options which is the best option. Whenever you answer an output type of question, first point, memory should be allocated for the global variables. So above the main function and outside all functions, variables are not there. Program does not contain any global variable. Second point, execution of a program starts at the main function and it ends at the main function. First line in the main function, randomize. So randomize is given for the proper working of random function. So because of randomize, the random function will generate random numbers properly. Now next line, two square bracket means it is a two dimensional array. The first one contains number of rows and the second one contains number of columns. So here number of rows not given, 10 columns are there. Now to find number of rows, check how many initial values are there. 5 initial values are there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is actually 5 rows and 10 columns. In this problem, Number of columns is not important, 5 rows are important. So let me allocate memory for 5 rows. So memory can be allocated like this. These are the 5 rows, row 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let me name these rows. The name of the 2 dimensional array is city. So the first row is city of 0. Because index starts with 0. Second one is city of 1, city of 2, city of 3 and city of 4. So you can see all the rows are named city of 0, city of 1 and so on. Now this initial value comes here. So city of 0 contains the first initial value DL. City of 1 contains the second initial value CHN. City of 2 contains the third initial value KOL. City of 3 contains the third initial value BOM. And city of 4 contains the last initial value BNG. So the initial values come here. So memory is allocated for this two dimensional array and the initial values are inserted. Fly is an integer variable. Next line, for loop. A for loop always starts from this area. So initially i is equal to 0. So noted down, i is 0. Now after this, automatically it comes here. 0 less than 3. Condition true. Hence it comes inside. Now assignment operator means right hand side is assigned to left hand side. So random of n returns a number between 0 and n minus 1. So random of 2 returns a number between 0 and 2 minus 1, 1. So here you get either 0 or 1. So what are the possible values in variable fly? If I take 0, it is 0 plus 1, 1. So fly contains 1 or it can be. If I take 1 here, it is 1 plus 1, 2. So fly may contain either 1 or 2. Yes, fly contains either 1 or 2. Now what is the output of the C out statement? Uh, here, let me take the first value of fly, 1. So, city of 1. And what is city of 1? CHN. So, here you get the answer CHN followed by this colon. So, CHN colon. Now, let me take the second possible value for fly, 2. 
So if I substitute 2 here, city of 2 KOL followed by this colon, this one. Now the second possibility is written in a new line and the reason is when you toss a coin, two possibilities are there, either head or tail. Each possibility is written in a new line because if you write them in the same line, it is read as head tail and there is no outcome head tail. So the point is each and every possibility should be written on a new line. Hence, when I take fly as 1, I get CHN. When I take fly as 2, I get KOL. Each possibility is written in a new line. Now, in the option list, is there an answer starting with CHN? Yes, there is an answer. So, I need to continue this forward. Is there an answer starting with KOL in the option list? Yes, many answers are there starting with KOL. So, I need to continue both the options forward. Now, after executing this, automatically control comes here. I plus plus. So, I is 0, I is incremented, this becomes 1. Now, after this, after I plus plus, again condition checked. So, is I less than 3, I is 1. So, 1 less than 3, condition true. So, control comes inside. Now, assignment operator means right hand side is assigned to left hand side. So, random of 2 returns a number between 0 and 2 minus 1. 0 and 1, both inclusive. So, here either 0 may come or 1 may come. So, what are the possible values in variable fly? If I take 0, it is 0 plus 1, 1. If I take the 1 here, 1 plus 1, 2. So, variable fly may contain either 1 or 2. Let me take the first possible value 1. If I substitute 1, city of 1, chn, this answer should be added with the previous answers. Yes. This answer is added with the previous answers. The second possible value for fly is 2. So, if I substitute 2 here, city of 2, it is KOL. And this answer should be added with the previous answers. Yes, KOL has been added with the previous answers. Why did we add these answers with the previous one? Because when you toss the coin for the first time, the possibilities are head or tail. When you toss a coin for the second time, again the possibilities are head or tail. That head should be added with the previous answers. Similarly, tail should be added with the previous answers. Because when you toss a coin two times, the possible outcomes are first time you get head, second time also head. Or it can be first time you get head, second time tail. Or it can be first time you get tail, second time also tail. Or first time you get tail and second time you get head. So in short, in order to get all the possible answers, the second answer is added with the previous one. So here, the second answers are added with the previous one. Now, before I proceed, is there an answer starting with CHN, CHN? You can see in the option list, it is not the no answer starts with CHN, CHN. So you can cancel this. Is an answer starting with CHN KOL? Yes, it is there. So I need to continue this forward. Is an answer starting with KOL, KOL? No, it is not there. So I can delete this. Is an answer starting with KOL, CHN? Yes, it is there. 
you can see here so i need to continue this and this forward let me rewrite the answers deleted deleted i need to continue this i need to continue this rewritten now after this automatically control comes to this area i plus plus i is 1 so 1 plus plus this becomes 2 so i became 2 now after this again condition check so 2 less than 3 condition true hence control comes inside now same as before assignment operator right to left so random of 2 returns 0 or 1 hence variable fly contains either 1 or 2 if i substitute the first value 1 city of 1 and what is city of 1 chn this answer it should be added with the previous answers yes it is added with the previous answers now let me substitute the second value 2 if i substitute the second value 2 city of 2 kol and that kol should be added with the previous answers yes it is added so after the third iteration is an answer starting with chn kol chn yes it is there so this i need to continue is an answer starting with chn kol kol no it is not there so i can delete this is an answer starting with kol chn kol yes it is there it is option number four so this i need to continue is an answer starting with kol chn chn you can see it is not there so this i can delete so the two answers are chn kol chn option number two and kol chn kol it is option number four again after executing this control should come here i plus plus so i is 2 2 plus plus it becomes 3 yes it became 3 now after this again condition check 3 less than 3 condition wrong you exit from for loop and the program terminates now a second part of the question is the justify your answer so for writing this correct answer you get one mark and for justification another one mark how will you write the justification it can be written like this random of two returns zero or one so variable fly contains either one or two on substituting these values in the c out statement we get the correct answer So, so this, this is the, the correct, correct answer, answer and this, this is the justification. justification. So, so one mark and here also one mark. mark.